So hey everybody, welcome to another Feature Friday. So instead of going to a conference this week, I thought I'd stay home and make another video. So we're going to talk about uh, health a little bit, the uh, health component to Application Suite, uh, a little bit of navigation around it. Um, and also we did a, uh, a video on health some time ago. I'll also put a link down in the description so you can check that out as well. So let's uh, navigate around Application Suite health. Alrighty, so here we go. So I've already logged into Application Suite. This is uh, release 8.11, by the way, and we'll be taking a look at Health 8.7. Uh, so this is the tile for Health that you're going to see here on the, the main navigator. And I did want to mention that up here in the upper right corner of every tile, uh, there are some options. Specifically, the documentation for that particular uh, set of applications is available. And also, if you're doing any type of interfacing or developing your own applications and such, then you can certainly gain access to the API documentation. So documentation for the particular tile is very easily uh, available there. Okay. So I'm going to click on the health tile and give it a moment to render. And the first thing you'll notice is that I land in the assets table here. And it's telling me I've got 8,300 plus records. So Health has access to the asset records and the location records that are in the underlying Manage instance. So this particular instance of Manage, I've got over 8,000 uh, asset records there. And if I jump over to the locations, I'm able to see that I've got 125 locations on this instance of manage as well. Okay, So again, health has access to those asset records and the location records that are in the underlying manage instance. OK, so the next thing I want to talk about are these queries or these views. So out of the box, health comes with several different queries or several different views to filter down the list of assets that you see. And the same is true over on locations. And you can see down through here what some of these look like. So as you then filter, um, you know, your search and filter over here on the right hand side, once you've satisfied with a certain query, then you can come over here and save it as a new view. Okay, so this is a pretty handy tool. You can Definitely search on the different attributes of the assets or descriptions, maybe their locations, um, and narrow it down so that you can have different lists of assets as you wish. So now let's move over to what we really want to talk about here today. So I am in the table view, and I've moved over to the right-hand side of the screen um, and talked a little bit about how you can filter and save queries for that. Um, I also might want to mention that over here, you're able to manage the columns that you see. So if I clicked on this icon, I could decide which columns uh, beyond just the ones I see already, not only which ones I see, but also the order that they can be in. And then you can save that as a view um, as well. Okay. So the next icon is the map view. So if your manage system has been configured to use a map, then you will see or can see the assets or locations, you know, rendered on a map as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it may take a moment to render here. So, okay, and it did take a moment to render. So here we are. And again, depending on what type of map and the layers and such that you have configured will depend on what you see here. Um, but if I go ahead and zoom in just a little bit to make it a little bit easier for you to see, you'll notice that the assets that are in Manage that are on the map um, are also given pins here. And there's a little bit more information than you normally would get. You'll notice some of these are gray and some of these are red. Well, that's what this little legend is over here on the left-hand side. This is telling me that for each of these assets, not only where are they on the map, but it's also representing their current health score. Okay, So you can see that most of those on the map there, they don't have a score. They're not um, in my health scoring system as of yet. 
uh, but the two that are that have the little red X on there, uh, they're experiencing poor health, right? And so this is just a, a way to see on the map uh, what the health status is of the different assets that are in the system. Okay, so let's now move over to the chart view up here in the upper right again, and we will choose the chart. Give it a moment to render. And so what this view is showing me, and of course I'm able to query as well, uh, just like I did over in the table view, but this is showing me an indication of the overall health of all the assets that I have. And as you can see, the vast majority of the assets that are in my managed system, I do not have a health score for. I haven't uh, completed that work as of yet. And so a very uh, small number of the assets in that system actually have a health score. If you have indicated a manufacturer on your different assets, and there's been a failure of some kind reported against that asset, then you're able to see which manufacturers are perhaps uh, producing the, the worst amount of failures. So if I wanted to see what's happening with, let's say, Stardot here, I could just come down and click on it. And what it'll do is it'll take me out to an asset list showing me the assets that are causing the most trouble from that particular manufacturer. And let's go back to assets. And of course, over here on the right hand side is unplanned downtime. If there have been downtime uh, reports, you're able to hover over that and actually click on it and see uh, where that came from. Okay, uh, This particular asset on this location was the one that had the unplanned downtime. And to go back, you simply click on assets in the upper left corner. One thing to note here in all of these views is on the right hand side, you're able to choose the span of time that you wish to look at. And the default here is in the last 12 months. You can look at the last month, you can put in a custom range, that sort of thing. And sort of our final icon here is what we call the matrix. So the default view will be criticality and end of life. That's the parameters that it's going to show you. In our case here, I want to use criticality and health. It gives me a slightly different uh, picture to look at. So I'll go ahead and do that. So across my 8,000 assets here, um, I have a number that are in need of action, you know, pretty high need of action here. And then there's a medium need of action and a low need of action. And of course that big bucket of ones that I haven't uh, worked on quite yet. And quite simply, I would just come over here, I click on the one and it takes me to that, that asset record. I'm also able to see a five by five matrix, if you will. Um, actually, this is a three by three matrix, sorry, um, of your typical consequence versus the health or probability of failure. And so I can have a visual representation of that. And of course, I've got this one asset sitting over here that uh, I really need to do something with based upon what the system is telling me. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go back to the assets table, which is kind of where everything started. And hopefully that gives you a, a pretty good view of the different types of views that you can use here in health. And uh, one of the nice things I like about it is that if you're missing something, it certainly shows you that you, you, know, you don't have health scores and things like that on certain assets. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do to make it more complete. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.